Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna to discuss business analytics versus statistical analytics. So this video is not really to help you pick a degree, like a master's or an undergrad degree between the two. Uh, this video is mainly for the purpose of kind of distinguishing the types of analytics in each category, um, the strengths and weaknesses, and this is going to lead into a series of videos on time series and analytics, but for me to do that, I have to make this video first. All right, so first off, business analytics is really the driver of analyzing business data, um, getting kind of a answer out of this data and making decisions. So it's like decision making for businesses, it's data driven. However, let's talk about some of the classes that you would take. So some of these classes would be like data management and visualization and analytics, uh, computer techniques for large scale data analysis, uh, large scale data learning labs, business analytic problem solving, applied statistical methods, uh, business analytics with SAS, predictive analytics using SAS, predictive analytics, programming for data science, organization for business analytics, a systems approach, and then they typically have a variety of different tracks. So it would be like marketing analytics, healthcare, uh, finance. They have all these different tracks that you can focus in for a specific type of industry. Um, the reason this is important is because uh, when you come into a business analytics degree, a lot of times you're focusing towards a specific industry. So you wanna learn a lot about, for example, say the marketing industry, you wanna look at the types of data they have and how you get solutions from that data. So the main goal of a business analytics degree, at least in my opinion, is to get you familiar with um, the type of software you'll be using in that industry, um, and also how to use that data to transform you know, standard answers. So the problems you see in marketing analytics are pretty common over and over again, but you always have new data. So a lot of times you bring in business analytics majors and then they actually do the analytics behind you know, why we would make this decision, what's the best cutoff, what's the best strategy. That's really focused on this industry. And you see here that a lot of the classes are very broad in topic. Like I pointed out here, one of the classes is data management and visualization of analytics. Um, so this is really focusing on like the tools itself. So you have this data, it's pretty clean, it's pretty simple. And then you go in and you figure out like, for example, in R, how do you make these really nice looking plots? And so they focus a lot of the time in the class on doing the plots, which is great for business because business people can make these um, interpretations and decisions because the plot shows you everything you need in the way that makes it look the best. So now on the other side of this, let's look at the statistics. So these statistics, master's degrees or applied statistics, uh, the type of classes you'd be taking for these types of degrees are like statistical learning one, regression, applied statistics two, statistical learning, multivariate analysis, principles and practices and effective statistical consulting, uh, econometrics analysis one, econometrics analysis two, computational methods, tool and statistics, probability and distribution theory, statistical inference, uh, regression and data analytics, mathematical methods and statistics, probability theory, discrete state stochastic processes, and really the list goes on here. So I wanna point out the difference here. So the difference in business analytics is you're given a broad kind of concept, you're given a lot of different tools you learn to use, uh, you get general business data, you apply these methods and you get an answer. Uh, on the flip side, on statistics, you can see a lot of these courses are very, very, um, in detail. So like I pointed out on one of the degrees here I'm looking at, uh, there's an applied statistical methods for your business analytics major. It's two week class, it's in the summer. Um, other classes have like a econometrics class and it's one semester and that was like the maximum you can cover in business analytics. The flip side to this on the statistics is that there's multiple time series classes, for example. Um, there's specific classes only on probability theory. There's, a, there's specific classes, you know, like on discrete state stochastic processes, which is also a math class. So the difference I think between the two is the business analytics is more or less gonna hit the ground running quicker. You're gonna get more of the how to use the tools and how to get general answers. That being said, those on the statistics side are going to have very, very in-depth, in-detail, very rigorous understandings of exactly how statistical methods work. And I think it's important here to point out the difference in both the modeling approaches in a business setting. So when you have someone with a business analytics degree, they will just build generic regressions. They'll look at you know the mean, the min, the max, the variance. They'll look at all these different types of basic statistics you'd learn like in a business stats course. Look at Z-scores, for example. Um, look at standard errors. So all these things that you've probably learned if you have a business degree is more or less the business analytics side of it. Um, on the flip side of that, statistics has a lot of rules. And so when you have assumptions and specific models uh, in like a business setting, you might cover the assumptions and then you move on. But in a stats 
applied master's degree or a stats master's degree or PhD in general, um, you're gonna dig deep. Like why do those assumptions matter? Uh, how do you get around those assumptions? If the assumptions are violated, what do you do next? What type of model structure do you dive into? And then the main piece in statistics is the inference statistics. So, you know, if you regress X on Y, uh, what's the outcome? What's the relationship? Does the relationship really exist? Does it not exist? Um, is this an exact model? What are the details behind the model? What is the mathematics behind the model? Um, if you're using you know, this program in R, does it even make sense? Or is it better to use a different package because it does things more analytically? Or it accounts for other assumptions that are violated? So we're gonna dive into a time series of videos here that I'm going to make. And all these videos are gonna cover some important constructs in time series itself but I feel it's important to point out that business analytics does not follow all of the rules. And a lot of times the people in the business world don't even care about the rules for statistics. They just really care about getting the answer. And that's okay, right? That's okay in their own setting. That's what they're being paid to do. But on the flip side of this, um, I think this is one of the largest confusions in time series analytics itself. The business side has done a lot of work in analytics with the time series data but they lack a lot of the understanding and rigor and rules required to have solid relationship inference within these models. So I've spent a lot of time in my career, in my academic setting as well, trying to explain to people that you took that one class of you know, econometrics and your master's in business analytics, um, but there's this whole list of rules here on the stats side that I'm looking at, and you have to meet every single one of these. If you do not meet these, you do not have a solid model, you do not have understanding behind the data, you do do not have the inference, like the relationships occurring between it. And so I think one of the best ways to analyze this and not to knock business analytics as it adds a lot of value in many industries is that um, on the one side you have essentially like someone looking at a correlation. They wanna know, you know, X or Y are correlated, awesome, let's regress it, let's make a decision. They don't have time to sit and look at this, you know, for a few days, do all these other calculations and make sure it's exactly correct. Uh, on the flip side here, you have statistics. Um, statistics is going to tear this apart and say, yes, X and Y are correlated. Uh, is the amount of correlation relevant? Uh, did you test it? Did you look at like the thresholds? Um, trying to figure out like, is this really a relationship? Looking at a lot deeper levels of this correlation in itself. And this is where we're gonna dive with the time series here is that there's a lot of pieces that yes, you can do. And I see a lot of people in online forums saying, you know, you can do X, Y, and Z. And I'm not saying you can't do it. All I'm trying to explain to people in general is that you can do it, but your results aren't really meaningful if you don't meet all these qualifications on the statistics side. So that's kind of just the overview quickly here. Uh, business analytics is very useful. I've done a lot of it in my earlier years. Um, then I had a lot of higher education, moved into the statistics side, and took a lot of classes more on the theory and the conceptual soundness. This is the core that I always argue with. Yes, both add a lot of value in different scenarios. Um, both have different needs. So on a business analytics, marketing analytics, they might need an answer quickly. They might need to just make decisions to make money. They're not really concerned on their relationships or the stats for a long-term um, relationship here. Whereas on the stats side, you might have people that are just so deep in the stats that like they might not make a decision quickly. It might take too much time. Um, sometimes, yes, we get too theoretical in the sense that we have all these rules that we're focused on and we don't make good decisions maybe because we're so focused on the rules. But this is just the intro video to this time series comparison on business analytics and on time series. I will try to cover a little bit of both as we move through these videos. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.